Hello everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program Mod Playthrough with me Super Troops. So, part two of the first launch to Minmus. And we're also gonna complete some contracts on the way with this, so it's not just a straightforward launch. And as always, start an episode with a derp. I forgot that I did the staging on the launch pad last time, so I now need to go and redo the staging in the VAB so it saves it. There we go. Pretty simple change. So I know this ship now has plenty of thrust to get me to where I need to go and to do what I need to do. <clears throat> and it's also a lot more stable. Until I try and push it too far anyway. There we go, that's a prime example of pushing it too far. So I just wait for it to rotate around and this does burn a bit more delta V than what we used last time. But we're still good. So now I'm using thrusters, I have more control. Since I'm leveled out, I can kill the thrusters, deploy the fairing, circularize the orbit. the solar panels out and I'm not going to forget to do sort the dish out this time so hopefully when this mission is complete this will yield me a good bunch of signs when I bring it back from Minmus. Okay, so we now have a circular-ish orbit. Limit the thrusters again, just for preci precision. and then set our plane to the same as Mimus as we did before. Yeah, now we can move forward towards the target. Now we're actually pointing to the node. and now to put in <coughs> the actual transfer maneuver to Mimus. We do it properly this time, just go flat rather than try and go in at an angle. So we bring it out to Mimus there and then we just move where we burn. So we've got a good distance from Mimus there. Execute the burn.
So as I said, remember to activate the dish this time. We've got it linked to the contact relay we set up a couple of episodes ago. Just because that's our only satellite around Kerbin that has the distance and I'll relay it to either Mission Control or one of our satellite relays. stage to finish the burn off. So there we go. So now you can see how close I passed the Mimus and I can just circularize the orbit there when we get there. I did notice something along the way, just pointing at Kerbin isn't necessarily enough unless you have your big relay dishes pointing to active vessel. So I'll be like, why am I dipping in and out of signal here? Bit of signal, no signal. Still no signal. Bit of signal. It's delicious. What I'm kind of realizing is it's just connecting directly to mission control because none of the satnet uh, small satellites have got an antenna big enough to reach me this far. The only thing that can reach me is from Kerbin, uh, the mission control itself, and the satellite relay is still pointing at the moon from its yeah. initial mission. So I'm looking at that and trying to connect to Comsat relay, and it's like still pointing at Kerbin. And I think it's about in a second that I realise that yeah. it must be at the Comsat end that the problem is. dish I see it's still pointed to the moon and I need to switch it to active vessel and it's that simple problem solved although it's not the complete issue um, there is a period whilst there's not gonna be, whilst the satellite is behind Kerbin from this angle um, and I address that in between episodes before I start doing my live episodes again and put a second comsat relay dish up so that there's always a visible satellite from wherever we are. Get signs on the way. Saving my science space for when I'm closer to Mimus. Get more science the further away from Kerbin you are when you do it. Just 
been enough missions I've already got, and I got a load of stuff uh, into a minus sphere of influence, gravity influence. So a bunch more science. Do a uh, material space study this time. So just approaching the burn now. There we go. And it's basically just retrograde to slow it down enough to be caught in the gravity sphere of Minmus so we end up in an orbit. There's a bunch more stuff for into an orbit of Minmus. So now looking at the <clears throat> parameters for the contract and now I need to get basically into a low orbit to do the second half of the sensor scan thing Unfortunately, your uh, <clears throat> velocity when you're going around Minmus is so low because the gravity of the actual moon is so low, you have to be going so slow in order to be able to be kept within its gravity influence. So it takes ages to orbit it. So that's my plan next maneuver. Bring it in a bit. So try and do this, and it's still all in space high over Mimus. So I kind of realized that this low orbit isn't low enough. Do another maneuver and just bring it in a bit closer. So now we're at 20,000 meters and that's low enough so we can fulfill what needs to be done with the science experiments and then we're going to adjust our orbit to fit the contract as well and then we have to orbit for 70 days, 75 days, something like that. So we could just leave there and carry on with whatever else we're doing. quite high. 
our inclination, but we need to keep eccentricity of the orbit as well. So there we go, that's about right. And then eventually, because I'm going to, because we're doing a low resolution scan of Mimus as well, um, I'll have to move that to a polar orbit once the other contract is complete to finish off the low resolution scan. Just so that I catch the pole areas. So this is quite a long burn being quite a big change in plane. in the low resolution scan as well. I'm just going to keep the experiments until we've got a fair amount of data stored there. So that is that satellite that can be forgot about for a while. Now we're just going to have an adjustment of what's happening with the satellite relay because that's also doing a scan at the moment. So that was fulfilling another contract at the same time. That was just transmitting the data we already got from the scan. make it a bit more polar and that way you uh, cover more over the poles itself but also cover more of the planet so you come almost vertical Does take long to finish now that it's much more upright orbit. <clears throat> now it's done. So what I 
do just before the end of the episode is um, return it to a more a lower orbit, not quite so much over the poles, and also extend it out to the one million meter or thousand kilometer point which all the other satellites on the equatorial orbits are at as well. That's one side and then all you need to do is circularize it and what I do in between episodes is launch another one at the opposite angle over the poles so that, that way anything within a reasonable distance will um, always be in contact with the KSC That's it, and that is the end of the pre recorded episode. You can see that all is nice and perfect. I just set one on going the opposite way. That is it for pre recorded, and thank you very much for watching. Oh, one more thing I finally get MetJev with the uh, maneuver upgrade on it, so it makes everything a lot more easy to get to and from planets and so on and so forth and to rescue people as well so yep that's what we're looking at next is the heavy rocketry and the advanced fuel systems but that's where i leave it and thank you all for watching um we'll be back next time where we'll be able to uh, do a lot more with a decent satellite network up and a lot more missions under our belt so thanks again for watching see you next time goodbye